everyone, it's Olivia from Cute as a Bow, and today I have three easy messy buns that are each different and they each have their own little flaw, and I think they came out adorable. I have kind of incorporated a braid into each of them, and they just, they just turned out really cute. So, let's get started. Alright, so this is messy bun style number one. I have my regular part in. And I'm just going to take some hair from the heavy side of my cart, and I'm going to be dividing this piece into about two equal parts. And I'm going to take some hair from the first part, and I'm going to cross it over to the second. And now I'm going to take some hair from the second, and I'm going to cross it over to the first. And I'm just creating a regular fishtail braid. The smaller pieces you take from each side will define the fishtail, but if you're making a messy bun style, you can have the pieces as big or as small as you like. And if you want, you can come back here once in a while, and you can just fluff the fishtail out. The fishtail doesn't have to be too messy unless you want a really, really laid back look. But I have just done it a little too tight for that kind of distinct look that I want. And I'm just going to be pulling the sides apart and making it a little more fluffier and more laid back looking. Right, that looks about right. And now I'm just going to take a oh it's loaded. A clear elastic and I'm just going to be securing it. And you can secure it as tight or as loose as you want. And again, I'm just going to come back here and loosen that fishtail up because I really want it poofy and big and nice. And there you go. You can pull it apart more if you want it more defined as the messy fishtail braid that it is. And if you want, you can do something on the other side or something right below it. I'm just going to be doing a tiny Dutch braid here. And now I'm just going to be securing it. And I'm just going to come back here and I'm just going to pull the edges apart. It doesn't have to be that even because we kind of wanted a messy look. And now for the big finale, I'm just going to move the braids out of my face and I'm just going to make a regular messy bun. And I'm not using any particular style. I'm basically just taking all of my hair and I'm kind of putting it or pushing it into this kind of little ball formation. And I'm just going to be, it's not, it doesn't have to be that messy, but I'm just going to be forming it around. And I'm going to take a bobby pin or a couple depending on how your thick depending on how thick your hair is and i'm just going to be kind of 
bobby pinning the messy bun down. I'm going to take the fishtail and I'm going to kind of wrap it around the bun. And I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm just going to secure it again with this braid. I'm going to be doing the same thing as I did with the fishtail. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around. And I'm going to take another bobby pin and I'm just going to pin it in place and there you go my messy bun style number one all right so this is messy bun style number two and I've just parted my hair normally like before and I'm going to be doing a French braid so I'm going to be going to take some hair and I'm going to divide it into three equal parts and I'm going to take the right strand first. I'm going to cross it over the middle. You can start with the left. I'm going to take the left strand. And I'm going to cross it over the middle. And now I'm going to take some hair from the right side, add it in to the right strand, and I'm going to cross it over the middle. And I'm going to add some hair to the left strand, and I'm going to cross it over the middle. And again from the right, Again from the left and I'm just going to be continuing this maybe to about the middle of my head as I come to the back of my head I want to make sure that I'm braiding as close to the hairline as possible and just going to cross that over the middle. And I also want to make sure that all the hair on top is smoothed down. We don't want any lumps. And I'm just going to continue. And right about here, I'm not going to add any other hair to it. I'm just going to be doing a normal three strand braid. Alright, so I have just removed the temporary elastic. If you do want the braid in your bun, you can leave the elastic in. But I've just taken it out. And now I'm just going to be doing a kind of side bun. Just going to unravel that. The way that you do that is I'm just going to kind of twist it a little bit, make it a little looser. And now, make it all a little tighter. And now I'm just going to be doing a loose twist. And twist that again. And kind of tuck it. Kind of tuck it, twist it again, make sure those ends are twisted, and I'm just going to tuck it in there. I'm going to take some bobby pins, and I'm just going to secure the bun. You can use as many as you like. And if you want, you can kind of tug at it and make it a little poofier. Maybe add some more bobby pins in. And there you go. There you have the bun, the French braid. And that is messy bun number two. All right, so this is messy bun style number three. I'm just going to take a fairly small piece of hair 
and I'm going to twist it very lightly all the way down to the ends of my hair. And I'm going to take a bobby pin and I'm just going to pin it. Don't worry if it's not perfect. This is not permanent. And now I'm just going to get my clear elastic ready. I'm going to take another piece, really small piece again, and I'm just going to twist it all the way to the end of my hair. But this time I'm not going to secure it. I'm going to take the bobby pin out and I'm going to twist that up again. I'm going to take an elastic, make sure the hair on top is smooth, and I'm just going to secure it Just going to tighten that up. And there I have my first round of twists. And now I'm going to do the same thing, but on the bottom layer. And again, let me get some thicker hair. I'm just going to twist it all the way to the end of my hair. Alright, so now that you have your twists in place, I'm just going to be dividing the rest of my hair into about three equal parts. So one, two, and three. And if you want, you can even it more out. But it doesn't really matter at this point. But I'm going to take the first big piece and I'm just going to be twisting it all the way down and now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to kind of make the shape of a little rosebud and just kind of wrap it around and now I'm going to take a bobby pin and secure it you can use as many bobby pins as you like depending on how thick or thin your hair is I probably only will use two. And now I'm going to take the other two pieces and I'm going to be doing the same exact steps. And this is going to be the last bobby pin. I used three for that one just because I felt like it wasn't really sticking in and that's fine. But there you go. You have kind of rose bud almost like buns in your hair and then you have the twists that come in. And I think this is really unique and I thought it was going to be awesome for the third messy bun style.